Hello, I'm Dave Orlandi at Embarcadero Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify and tune queries that cause Oracle wait events. Using Embarcadero's DB Optimizer, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to identify SQL causing Oracle wait events in this example. Understand that DB Optimizer supports not only Oracle, but Microsoft SQL Server, Sybase ASE, and IBM DB2 LUW. First note the graph that you see. This is a profiling chart. It's very easy for users to point DB Optimizer to a database and choose to run a profiling session. A profiling session is nothing more than DB Optimizer sampling the system tables and pulling back offending SQL. SQL that is a perhaps a long-running query or a frequently executed query causing overhead in your environment. No agents are used with DB Optimizer. Upon running the profiling session on the fly or scheduling it, you will get a chart that is similar to what you see here. On the side you'll see that the statistic used is average active sessions. The red line represents the maximum CPU, so you have the ability to understand if more CPU is being requested than is actually available. From here, it's very easy to crop a section of the chart to filter your search, like so. Notice that when I crop this peak in the profiling chart, the information down below now reflects just the information or SQL representative in that peak. Now I can highlight a particular select statement and isolate it in the profiling details window. I have a number of tabs across that I can get more detailed information such as SQL details like parsing statistics, event information, those events associated with that SQL, as well as session information, that is, who's running that SQL and from where. Now I can simply right click and I can choose the option to generate an explain plan, or in this case I will choose to tune this SQL. By choosing this option, it takes that select statement and puts it in a tuning session for me to continue. Note the options across the top here these are various tabs. So I have chosen a select statement from a profiling session, which is ideal because it gives that SQL context that it does indeed need to be tuned. But as an FYI, users of DB Optimizer could also bring in SQL to tune from database objects such as stored procedures, or point it to various SQL files, or in the case of Oracle, go into the system global area and tune statements there. Again, I'll continue with the select statement that I pulled from the profiling session. Now I can very simply click on the Overview tab and choose to generate as many unique cases or access paths to possibly make this SQL more efficient. I'll make sure that this Generate Cases box is checked and I'll hit the Execute button. And down below in the Generated Cases section you'll see that DB Optimizer is generating as many unique cases as possible. It has also provided an initial Oracle estimated cost. What we'll want to do next is actually execute these cases to get real statistics to better understand which, which case is best. So I'll choose the execute each generated case and hit the Run Job button, and you'll see now that if I expand the Execution Statistics column, it's running these cases one by one, and we're getting the results. Most often, people choose the best case based on elapsed time. I can sort order on any of these columns, including elapsed time, and see which cases are best for my statement. Now I can right click and choose to compare 
a particular case to the original, or ultimately apply that change to that statement. So hints are one way to improve the SQL using DB Optimizer. Another way to make the SQL more efficient is with rewrites. If there were rewrite options available, they would be listed down here as well. I'll show you a separate example with some of those rewrites. Notice the various options that DB Optimizer gives, such as missing valid join criteria, outer join incomplete, substring function suppresses the index, and so on. So in addition to hints, rewrites are also available using DB Optimizer. Going back, I can now click on the Analysis tab and get additional help. First, down below, we have indexing suggestions. So where and when appropriate, DB Optimizer will suggest uh, if an index is being used and if it should be or not. And if an index is needed, it will suggest that an index be created. And lastly, in addition to hints, rewrites, and in these indexing suggestions, DB Optimizer offers something called Visual SQL Tuning. That gives you a picture to better understand your query and how well it's written. So again, in conclusion, DB Optimizer is a great tool to very quickly and easily identify poor running queries that are causing Oracle wait events by profiling, isolating the SQL, and then tuning the SQL with hints or rewrites, as well as offering indexing suggestions and the visual SQL tuning.